design is really versatile. I really like it. It's great for getting into um, areas between applique. You can do it bigger. You can do it at a very large, loose scale. A little fuzz there, move out of the way. And uh, do it as an overall design over a quilt if you'd like. I think it looks really neat done with um, some major lines done in um, one color of thread, or um, in, in one scale, and another, um, in some of the other lines in a different scale. And I've got something going on in my bobbin. Did you guys hear that? Alright, well, something doesn't sound right. I just did my thread cutter and it didn't sound right either. So, let's see what we got going on, guys. What we have is an empty bobbin. You'll see it's not completely empty, but as it unwound its last few inches, the tail on the thread and the end of the bobbin came undone and got tangled up in there. So that's one thing I recommend when you're getting close to the very end of your bobbin, go ahead and stop, wind a new bobbin and start over. Because when you get things like this, well, it just kind of ruins your stitching, doesn't it? I was at a stopping point though. Let's see, I ended right here. So I'm going to stop the video for now. But there's an excellent example of why you listen to your machine. And I kind of heard and felt it as I was doing the video. I was hoping it would just stop. But it didn't. And so now I need to go wind my new, wind another bobbin. Anyway, thanks for watching. This was McTavishing. I'll show you a little bit of that before I turn off the video. And I started out with these longer, big, swooshy lines. And then I started going back in with much smaller, much denser lines of quilting. This McTavishing is just repeated echoes. Probably no more than four lines of stitching at a time in any given direction filling in any really oddball places with small little C's, even a paisley thrown in. And uh, over here, some of the gold that I did. This is Glide Thread from Filtech. They sent us some um, thread for a giveaway for my blog readers. And this is what I did with that gold. And here I did the big swooshies again. This is not as dense as this. It gives it a, just a different kind of um, texture and pattern. And I hope you'd enjoy it. This is Amy from Amy's Free Motion Quilting Adventures. Find my blog at freemotionquiltingadventures.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.